how to keep your crypto trades private. If you're looking to make anonymous cross-chain swaps, this is the project for you. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of the Beam Pod is sponsored by BitGet. BitGet is the most user-friendly and secure crypto trading platform for both beginners and experienced traders. BitGet is the best place to not only trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also all the small cap gems that we discuss every day. With 24 seven customer support, leverage trading, and a wide array of other advanced features, BitGet sets itself apart from every other centralized exchange. Through Beanstalk's official partnership with BitGet, you'll receive 15% off all trading fees when you sign up using the referral link in the description. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to be talking about a new project that allows anyone to swap cross chain and crypto privately. And there's some ties to Chainlink here and Circle, the issuer of USDC. Mm. So you might have seen this project being uh, talked about a lot lately on social media. And for good reason, because the CCIP protocol through Chainlink is a pretty hot narrative as it pertains to interoperability. And USDC Circle has been doing quite well lately um, as it with the ties to Coinbase mm-hmm. and their cross-chain uh, protocols as well. So I think now is a, a good time to be looking into this protocol specifically, especially as we're starting to see a lot of um, privacy information, how the government, the US government's looking to like watch everything you do on the internet and all these other things like more and more there's a fight to like stay anonymous, stay private and actually have some rights in your life when it comes to on-chain activity. For sure. You know, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that we like privacy coins. Uh, we talked about and personally invested in DOP, which is one of the leading privacy protocols in crypto. And this is another privacy coin that we like. Uh, it's different than DOP. It's all about interoperable cross-chain swaps. And with the advent of new L1 and new blockchains every month, every year, interoperability is here to stay in crypto. You're going to have assets bridged across, you know, if you're anything like us, 10, 12 different chains. Sometimes you got to be quick and you got to move them from base to Arbitrum, from Optimism to Ethereum, right? How do you do that? You got to do it, right? Yeah, it's complicated. Sometimes, you know, it's... Some of these bridges are unreliable, like not secure. You got to send it to a centralized exchange and back out, and then you forget your thing. And yeah. it's a whole it's a whole mission, right? So when a project like this comes along that makes it very easy, very private, and very secure, this has our eyes. And this has already seen integrations with Avalanche, Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, and BNB Chain. So that's great. There's a lot, because that's where most of these projects are right now. You know, once you see Solana and, and whatnot, that would be great as well. But this is u- use it, utilizing Chainlink's cross-chain interoperability protocol, better known as CCIP, and Circle's cross-chain transfer protocol, better known as CCTP. Mm-hmm. This innovative protocol boasts, like, level five security, because one of the biggest things that occurs, if you, like, just Google bridge hacks, billions are lost yeah. every year. Probably the number one. So level five security through a decentralized network is added is uh, added with like this risk management network, allowing for seamless transfer of both data and tokens between blockchains. And that helps, you know, when you can easily flow liquidity from one chain to another. It's helping all projects, really. I mean, if you think about the two pillars that, okay, well, we might as well reveal the name of the project. So it's called ChainSwap. And the ticker is CSwap. Now, one of the reasons why we like this project is when you look at the two pillars of what they've built the chain swap technology on, like we mentioned. First, we have Chainlink. This is the authority in interoperability, right? Every altcoin, every project, all chains, they all use Chainlink. And Circle, as you mentioned at the start of the episode, these guys are one of the absolute authorities in like trust and security in crypto. So you have the most interoperable project and one of the most trusted projects and probably the, in, you know, in our opinion, for sure, the most trusted stable coin mm-hmm. in crypto, USDC, Circle. Yeah. 
these are the two pillars that Chainswap is built on. As you, you know, you mentioned with bridges, you really got to be so careful. So the fact that they've got these two massive pillars behind it for me, if I'm going to be looking to do cross chain swaps, chain swap is probably going to be where I'm going to be going. Yeah. And like we said, it enhances liquidity and accessibility for users. Very important. Um, and look, it's all about having everything connected. What, what good is a pro uh, a layer one if it doesn't connect to anything else? You know, you're just relying on everybody and all the liquidity in that ecosystem. You need these interoperable, easy to use protocols that allow for mass adoption. Mm -hmm. And that's where a chain swap comes in. And then it's the fact that it's the first private decentralized exchange built on the uh, CCIP on Chainlink. Yep. So you can make these swaps. So not only can you do cross chain easily, but it's all anonymous. Yeah. So you're not being tracked, which is huge as it pertains to the privacy uh, issues. Yeah. A lot of people in the world, they don't like what the governments are doing. They don't like how the government's looking at every single transaction you're making, trying to tax you, overtax you, control you. Right. And I get that. That's why what Chainswap is doing is is really fits in with the narrative of crypto in the world right now, keeping cross chain swaps and swaps in general private. So, you know, whatever their laws are in your country, it's obviously up to you. We're not giving you financial advice. We're just saying, look, this is the technology that Chainswap has built. They've used two of the best pillars in crypto. They're building the first privacy decks using these pillars, which is innovative. And, and one thing which is really cool they're doing is this autonomous refunds for failed transfers. So like, if you have lack of liquidity or some of your tokens are unavailable and the swaps are failed, a lot of the times on other protocols, you're losing that money. But using their, their CCIP contract, they're allowing users to recover their funds through a refund mechanism. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. And like, look, you can keep using centralized DEXs like Uniswap, which funny enough, they were sued by the SEC recently. Right. If somebody's controlling all that, is it really a decentralized exchange? You know? Mm -hmm. Is Buddy... is you know, what's the SEC going to do with all this information? They've been trying to build a case against Ethereum for a while now. Yeah. Is this guy just going to cough up all the user information who have been using Uniswap? Like, what sort of data is going to be leaked within that? At least with this, this uh, anonymous, anonymous layer, all sender and receiver addresses are kept private, so nobody can see that. Uh, all It's all confidential. You know, where the swap's being made from, what IP address, all these things. So it's like... I think I'd rather be using something like this versus a Uniswap for a data, uh, at least for a data perspective. For sure. No, I mean, it's, it has a lot of, the platform itself has a lot of utility and the C-Swap token has a lot of utility. So they charge a 0.5% transaction fee for each swap using Chainswap, 75% buyback and burn. So they're going to be repurchasing C-Swap tokens from the market to continually reduce total supply. So as more people are using Chainswap to do private and cross-chain swaps, the more C-Swap that's going to be bought back and burnt. And 25% of that uh, distribution goes to long-term holders. So it's encouraging people to actually hold the C-Swap token. So they're buying it, they're burning it, and they're encouraging long-term holders. So you're going to see the C-Swap token, if you look at the chart, it had a massive run-up when everyone was talking about it. Like every altcoin in the market, it's pulled back significantly. If you look at the market cap between Chainswap and like Uniswap, there's a huge gap. And I think as more people um, gravitate towards these privacy chains, obviously this is not financial advice, but C-Swap could be an interesting one to look at. Yeah, absolutely. Like the fact that they're doing the buyback and burn and a holder dis uh, redistribution for the token holders. Look, if you're not, if you don't want to buy the token, that's fine. But as a cross-chain protocol to make an anonymous swaps, that's a whole nother thing and a whole nother reason to potentially hold the C-Swap token. Yeah, 100%. I mean, look, it's one of the one of the cooler looking products that I've seen come out over the last few months. It's I, simple. It's simple. Yeah. It's a cross-chain private swap built using some of the best technology in crypto. Um, we like Chainswap. That's why we decided to officially partner with them to present this episode to you today. Um, as Josh mentioned, I think like I'm going to be personally using Chainswap to use cross-chain swaps moving forward. There's so many... So many L1s, I got assets all across all these things. I don't want to use these sketchy bridges. Chain swap looks to be the trusted privacy swap in crypto. Absolutely. Hey, make sure you guys tune to the next episode. That one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.